What's going on, everybody, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. And uh, I'm going to do my prediction on Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman. And uh, first of all, I got this. See this beautiful orange? You know what this represents, right? This represents the state of Florida. So I shouldn't have to give you no more hints and clues about that. But uh, first of all, man, I believe that uh, Keith Thurman is going to, I think a lot of people saying that, you know, Danny's going to attack his body, this, that, and, you know, attack Keith's body and try to hurt him. But I believe you're going to see Keith Thur Thurman do a little bit of body work as well. I think he's going to try to beat Danny Garcia to the punch and uh, somewhat drain him so the second half he can go ahead and put the hurting on him. But one thing I noticed about Danny Garcia is that Danny Garcia has trouble with people jabbing at him. You know, he's not very comfortable with that. And uh, I know Keith Thurman's going to give him some jabs. And the difference between Keith Thurman jabs and a lot of other, his old, other opponents' jabs is that Keith Thurman chain has different variations of jabs. He don't just use the same jab over and over again. And uh, I believe that's going to be key as well. I believe, well, I know Danny Garcia, he... he he has a problem. He he has to set his feet when he lands his, when he throws shots. His feet have to be in position. He can't throw shots on the move like that. I done seen him try to box and move around, but he that's not his forte. You know, he does more moving. He's more on the defense when he's trying to box. You know, Danny's a inside. He's a, a flat-footed inside the pocket fighter. But Keith Thurman is going to give him, he's going to engage in exchange with Danny when, at his discretion when he wants to. You know, he's not going to just do it the whole fight, I don't believe. I believe he's going to exchange and engage when he wants to. And uh, he's not going to stick around the pocket too long at times, maybe. You know, depending on maybe if he feel like he's losing a round. But... And um, another thing I noticed about Danny is when Danny throws his shots, he keeps his gloves, his gloves move far away from his face, from his chin. All the time he gets a little reckless and wild. Even though Keith Thurman, you know, have, he wings his, his hooks, but he keeps his glove in, in place. Danny moves. Danny has his hand in the in the his hands move out away from his chin like in a brawler style. And Danny also reaches a lot. I noticed that he reaches all the time, especially with, with his hooks. And Danny, Danny don't get, uh he doesn't stay committed to a jab as well. He's not a jabber like that. He throws a lot of jabs to the body, but he doesn't throw jabs to the up top. That's not he'll flick a jab out there every now and then just to, you know, make it look good and use it as decoy, but he's not dedicated to throwing jabs. You know, that's gonna really, really hurt him. Even during this fight and after, you know, fight fights on later on down the line. But I truly believe once Thurman hurts Danny, or if he hurts Danny any type of way, if he gets him to backing up, he's going to go for broke. He's going to try to get him out of there. As soon as he can hurt him any type of way, he's going to go for broke on, on Danny Garcia. But uh, I could look forward to Danny throwing more body shots than normal, because I think he's going to get kind of rely on that due to the blueprint he's seen. You know, 
everybody banking on Danny to hurt him to the body, but it don't matter. He's not going to knock him out to the body. Thurman done been hurt. Yeah, we seen that, but he get he he didn't fall. He shook through it and fought through it. Survived around, get himself together, and you know, did what he had to do. But I think Danny's going to try to try to commit to the body a little bit more than normal, and I think that might be setting him up to get some hooks landed to his, to his chin. You know? But, uh, don't get me wrong, both of these guys going to get caught with some shit in this fight. There's, there's no way around it. You know? But, if I was Thurman, for the majority of the fight, I wouldn't worry about landing a lot of hooks. I I catch Danny with a lot of one twos because Danny likes to throw a lot of uh, hooks, and he don't really counter over the jab that much. You know, see, he he seems like he don't believe in that. He'd rather counter. He Dan, Danny's more of a catch and shoot type of guy, you know. He'll counter in certain scenarios, but like off the jab, he don't really counter that much off the jab, like how he does when somebody, you know, throwing hooks or anything like that. But um, I don't know, man. That's pretty about. That's pretty much all I have, though, man. You know, but I think once uh, Keith Thurman keeps him occupied with that jab and comes in, he gonna leave some combinations. They they they're gonna be that's when they're gonna be opening each other up for exchange. That's when they, that's when you gonna see the real boogie down. We might see it in the first round. We might not. I don't know, but it's gonna be some fireworks going on. We know that, but. Um, I don't think Thurman's going to just sit around and box him and make it boring and easy because he could do, easily do that and make it, you know, a simple fight. I think he's going to take he gonna take some chances at his discretion. And they're going to frustrate Danny. Danny's going to get anxious and start reaching. And another thing, Danny don't, Danny, Danny don't cut the ring off. He can't even cut the ring off, so... I'm just trying to figure out how is he going to win this fight now as he landed a lucky punch and knock Thurman out. But that's my thoughts and my prediction on the fight. It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll holler.